the resistant bug has really bugged us for the last so many years. And though now they are getting smarter and smarter, and most of the ICUs now are facing the problem of managing MDR organism, gram negative and gram positive. Both are troubling. Among the gram negative, enterobacteria C, ASBLs, E. coli, Klebsiella, and among the non enterobacteria C, Ethridobacter pseudomonas are really great problematic organism to be managed. And among the positive, of course, MRSA is the most common organism. So, we are going to discuss today about the management of MDR organisms in the ICU. So, we have uh, Dr. Prakash Shastri, who is the Vice Chairman, Department of Critical Care, Sir Ganga Ram Hospital, New Delhi. So, Dr. Shastri, I am going to ask you, why do we see so much of uh, ESPL nowadays? ESBL in India has been a long standing problem, I believe from the 90s itself, ESBLs made their appearance in India. And personally, if you ask me this question, I would say that uh, the incidence of ESBL has gone up so much because of over prescription of antibiotics across the uh, spectrum of doctors, across the spectrum of specialities, and perhaps because of less regulation in the Indian market where uh, cephalosporins and fluoroquinolones are available across the counter. So more often than not, even for trivial ailments, uh, patients tend to take uh, these uh, cephalosporins across the counter and start it. And by the time they come to us, they are already harboring ESBL, ESBL organisms. organisms. So basically, it is the overuse and misuse of antibiotics in addition to all the other risk, factor risk factors for common. ESBL, the elderly people, the stay in the hospital and all other factors. Now, once you have ESBL, of course, the carbapenem is considered the best drug for the ESBLs. So, what do you think is the role of uh, BL, BLI uh, combination in managing these patients? BL, BLI are not uh, my drug of first choice uh, when I am suspecting ESBL infections in my patients. Having said that, and you also mentioned that uh, meropenem is the drug of choice, but there are occasions where we could possibly use a BL, BLI combination. Number one is the availability of MIC values. If my microbiology lab is good enough to send me the MIC values and uh, the culture is positive, maybe, and if the MIC values are less than four, probably I wouldn't mind using BL, BLI uh, combinations. Having said that, even if I do decide to give BL, BLI combinations, because they are time dependent antibiotics, I'll probably give them.